So now we're on HR 40 because these same people who designed <laughs> how Evanston reparations um, rolled out, which was and still is a mess. Now they want to be on the commission for the federal program. Now, mind you, we were told, yeah, you're probably not going to get none from Evanston reparations. This is what we're told in uh, Evanston reparations meeting over a year ago. Yeah, you're probably not going to get anything from Evanston reparations. So you just wait on that federal program. So I'm just holding out hope for the federal. But now listening to Cam Howard on this discussion, this is his, this is him talking. Um, I'm losing hope on the federal. All these things are really distractions. Eligibility is a distraction at this particular point. What form reparations take is a distraction at this particular point. What we call ourselves is a distraction at this particular point. All those things should be should be addressed after we fulfill the mission, which is to get the commission passed. And we can then, if 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 300 or 10,000 of us want to focus on compensation, then that group gets together and get the best compensation package for all of us that they can. As I stated before, I'm going to focus, one of the things I'm going to focus on is repatriation. I want some cash to go back to the motherland. And I'm going to get all as many people as I know who want to focus on repatriation after the commission established. And we're going to get the, the best repatriation plan we can, and we're going to pitch that to the commission, and we're going to try to sell it to the commission, we're going to inform the commission, we're going to lead and direct the commission around that particular issue. All of us okay. can do the same okay. thing around every form of reparations we wanted to take, but right now it is a distraction from the mission. If they, if they choose, if Biden signs H.R. 40 as is, It ain't going to be good. It ain't going to be good. So Cam is talking about if he's on the commission or, you know, whoever the commission is, that it should be reparations. The federal program should be a four-tier plan, should be a multi-tier plan. So if you don't qualify for tier one, then maybe you'll qualify for tier two and so on and so on. I don't like the sound of that. Because mind you, I just got through uh, the trauma of Evanston reparations. You don't qualify. You don't get nothing. Yeah, I know your family went through some shit, but. So the four or multi-tier plan is still going to be based on what who they feel is deserving to receive reparations. I'm a little concerned about that. I think I'm pretty much going back to reparations as a unicorn in the sky. You know, but but Robin Rue did did make me a believer that it could be real. So that's why I'm like still holding on. That's why I'm fighting for it it can be real. It's possible. She made me believe that it is possible. That she did. And to me that's phenomenal. But the way Cam was talking in this discussion, and you all, please go listen to it yourself. Don't just take my word. You listen to it for yourself. You don't know who he, who he sees as African-American or Black American. It's really unclear. And when these Black people from all over the country were asking valid questions to get clarity on, who do you consider an African-American? Who do you consider a Black American? Who do you consider descendants of slavery? He, it's like a double talk. So you don't know if you're gonna qualify or not based on their principles. And HR 40 is really just the study. It's a commission to study and get paid a lot of money. There's no commitment to any real reparations in HR 40. So I don't even know why people are like all hyped up on it. When you read it, please go and read it. Because 
it's not what you think. Because initially I thought, I was like, okay, well, I guess I just have to wait for HR 40 then. Because initially I'm thinking HR 40 is like real reparations, direct cash payments to everybody born here in America that were descendants of those brought over here against their will. No, Cam Howard explained they got plans and it's real unclear and it shouldn't be unclear. It should just be very clear. And what, what do you need to really study? You're going to study what we already know and get paid for the next 10 plus years to study when no commitment or promise of Black people across America getting jack. Um, I am concerned. And, and I don't know, I don't think I'm going to hold out as I was instructed to for the federal program. I mean, it'd be great if, if it does work out to be real reparations, but I, you know, I'm not, I'm just not getting that vibe, especially if certain people are appointed to that commission. If some other people are appointed to the commission and they change the language in HR 40, then I might have hope again. I might have hope in reparations being not just some unicorn wish in the sky that one day all that we've gone through for centuries will be repaired. But there was a lot he said in that discussion and uh, it got me very, very concerned. And so people really need to Listen to that discussion, listen to the words coming out of his mouth, um, listen to the questions, very valid questions that were being asked. And he just labeled every single one a distraction. You're a distraction. You're a, dis you're a distraction from the mission. Well, what is the mission? Who is this mission serving? Because that is the reparations. Somebody got their garage door painted with somebody else, some contractors and some lenders and maybe some other people, they got paid. You know, there was uh, in this Twitter discussion group, um, this chemist was on there or she studied chemistry. Um, and she said, you know, once an egg is scrambled, it can't go back because he's telling people just support us in this HR 40 to get this commission uh, going. And then we can talk about who qualifies for federal reparations. And then so the people on there were like, well, no, that's like trying to take a scrambled egg and put it back in its original form. You can't do that. We need to talk about it now. If you don't know who the federal reparations program is for, then what's going on? Then what, what are we doing? No, we need to determine wh what's going on. We need to determine details, like what is the mission exactly? Can't be cloudy and unclear like Evanston reparations was and because it turned into a mess. And all he kept saying was, you're a distraction. Just like we were told here in Evanston, you're a distraction. Don't ask those questions. Just go ahead and pass it. Go ahead, support us, pass it. 